Good morning Cancerian family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with I guess an extra bonus love reading for your sign. This is my way of giving back to the Cancerian community here on the channel for all of the support that you offer me in the way that you do Cancer. So this is my way of showing you my appreciation and I want you to know it doesn't go unnoticed. Your, your support, your interaction, the emails, all of it, it doesn't go unnoticed. Do keep in mind though, this is a general reading. It isn't going to resonate with all of you. I feel like that's pretty much common sense. I do feel like these readings here on the channel are for entertainment purposes only. If you are looking for a personal reading, um, then all the details on how to work with me and connect with me are in the show more section below. Feel free to take uh, advantage of the current prices because I, there is going to be a slight increase as of the 1st of July of 2023. So be sure to book your personal reading in prior to the 30th of June. However, be patient with me, Cancer. There is a little bit of a backlog in getting the personal readings out, so patience is required. Just keep that in mind when emailing me and reaching out. Uh, this video can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Cancerian placements, as this is a love read. Uh, but if you feel like you're not dealing with anyone in love and you're just coming in looking for some kind of guidance or you just simply like the sound of my voice, um, then, you know, just come in and take what you need to, Cancer. Uh, what else was it that I was going to say? Oh my goodness, I can't forget. So what's motivating me to do this reading also today is the fact that we have just clicked over into Cancer season. So first and foremost, happy solar return, Cancer. For those of you who are celebrating a birthday in June, let me know in the comment section below. My hubby's birthday is in June. We're both Cancerians, would you believe? I'm a July Cancer, he's a June Cancer. We're completely different Cancerians. Uh, don't ask me how it works. I think I have a lot of patience. It's my Taurus moon, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> right? Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you are celebrating a birthday. We have just clicked over to cancer season and I want to celebrate it because it is our season. The sun is shining on our sign cancer. And um, for that, I am so very excited and happy for us. Um, so yeah, enough of that. Let's dive on in. I am working with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And we're just going freestyle with this reading, Cancer. We're just going to see whatever wants to come through at this time. Feel free to flip and reverse the roles. Even if you are a cross watcher, checking in on a Cancer in your life, like honestly, just take what speaks for you. Um, yes, and I have my coffee beside me this morning. I had an, an, a natural energy shot. I just needed the extra boost. Um, so here we go, Cancer. Let's see what messages want to come in for my beautiful Cancerians that are tuning into this reading. Oh my goodness, look at this. First card coming through is the Two of Cups. Couldn't be any more fitting, could it, Cancer? So straight off the bat, I feel like there could be a, a conversation. There could be a conversation. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got the Justice card here. Could be dealing with a Libran. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you, I want to say here that you are patiently waiting on communication from uh, the person that you are dealing with, that you are connecting to at this time. So your Seven of Cups is your your Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, you're patiently waiting on communication from someone that you may have romantic feelings for, okay? Um, or someone that you may just be dealing with at this time. And the communication that you're waiting for with the Justice card here is you're waiting for this person to take some kind of accountability, okay? The Justice card would suggest that perhaps in this situation, you have been treated unfairly or just something about what's happened here, you feel like you've been slighted or you've been treated unfairly or 
there was an imbalance here, okay? Mm. Maybe you feel cancer that this person didn't take your feelings into consideration. Because the justice, it's, it's about the scales, it's about balance, okay? Maybe you could see it from their point of view, but they couldn't see it from your point of view. Um, you, do you know what I mean? Maybe like you could put yourself in their shoes, but they couldn't put themselves in your shoes. So you just felt like the situation wasn't unfair. Uh, the, sorry, the situation was unfair. And I feel like with the Justice card, you were or you are still waiting for maybe some kind of accountability or you're waiting for some kind of an apology. Now, with the Justice card, I do have to say, Cancer, that Justice represents sort of like karma. And this is like good karma. So if you have been waiting for this apology, if you have been waiting for your partner to come towards you and show you their appreciation, because maybe recently they haven't been um, appreciative, you, you can expect that at this time. You can expect that, okay? Because the justice card would uh, indicate, you know, something good coming your way. And it's through the act of being patient here with the seven of pentacles. Now, Cancer, it can go either way. I'm going to be fair. You know, justice card, it's, it's, justice card is, it can go either way. Maybe you need to approach someone and apologize um or take accountability in some way okay the two of cups would indicate like i said opening up this reading it would indicate communication so maybe you feel um that it's only fair to the person that you're dealing with that you open up and and express how you feel as opposed to maybe closing off and withdrawing and not expressing how you feel okay so it can go either way with cancerians because cancer you are a water sign you are ruled by your emotions and your feelings and there is also a positive and a negative um, aspect like there's a positive side to cancer and there's a shadow aspect side to cancer so just know where you're sitting energetically with that. Okay, so the shadow side would be withdrawing um, and not expressing how you feel. And the positive aspect would be to healthily open up and express how you feel. Now, not everyone... Um, has the tools to be able to do that. So, you know, just just take what speaks cancer, okay? You'll know if this resonates or not. I want to clarify this justice card though, because I need to understand maybe what's happened here between the both of you. Okay, let's clarify this justice card. Ah, oh, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ace of Pentacles typically speaks to an offer, an offer being made, an offer being presented. But when it's in the reverse, it hasn't been presented to you it can feel like someone has withdrawn an offer mm. because again with the seven of pentacles uh, cancer maybe you've been patiently waiting for this person to offer you more of a commitment in this um, connection.
but it, it never happened, okay, or it isn't happening. Again, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse can speak to um, an apology that hasn't been made, an offer of an apology uh, that hasn't been made. All right, let's see what else is coming through here with the Justice card. Ooh, the World card in reverse. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius. So, yeah, I feel like there's unfinished business here with the World card in reverse. Okay, this is unspoken, it's unfinished. There's a loose end here, Cancer. And I see that maybe you're both ready to talk about it. You're both ready to confront it. You're both ready to lean into it. Hmm. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Swords speaks to communication. I feel like, again, that's just clarifying, patiently waiting uh, to talk about the current situation, okay, to talk about what is currently happening between the both of you. And I feel like also to um, clearing the air, you know, Queen of Swords, it's about clearing the air, patiently waiting to clear the air, to speak your minds. To be understood, to be understood, but to also understand. I don't know why, with the Queen of Swords, I do get very strong Libran vibes. And Libra has the ability to see something from two sides. Patiently waiting to have a conversation to be understood but to also hold space to understand where the other one is coming from. Mm. Okay, let's just quickly clarify this Two of Cups. Tell us more about this Two of Cups here for Cancer. Tell us more about the Two of Cups here for Cancer. Eight of Pentacles, I love it, guys. There is a real opportunity and possibility to mend, um, maybe mend bridges or mend conflict, mend this connection, mend this relationship. I like that, look at that, that's so harmonious. So it's like, let's talk about it. Let's fix this. There's a lot that we haven't said. There's a lot that I still don't understand. Um, but I feel like things are going to, but things between you both are going to be made right. And what I love about the Queen of Swords is there's a sense of level-headedness about this. It's a very mature energy. Emotions are not getting involved here because we're coming from a place of rational thinking as opposed to emotional thinking. So, you know, I see you both wanting to mend and fix the current situation. What was left unsaid here? Okay, there's something here left unsaid. Uh, unopen, loose ends. 
a missed opportunity, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, if there was a missed opportunity here, there could be a feeling of regret. I regret not saying what I needed to say at the time. I regret not expressing my feelings when I should have expressed my feelings at the time. So, you know, Cancer, I just want to say that the current situation isn't over. Okay, it isn't over yet. All right, let's get some more messages around this. Um, let's, let's just take a look. Actually, let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's take a look at your person's energy. Tell us more about the person that Cancer is connecting to at this time. Tell us more. Okay. What have we got here? Wow, look at that, the sun. This is, to me, this is major arcana for Leo, but you could be dealing with a fire sign. So for some of you, that's gonna be confirmation. Otherwise, you know, this could be any sign really. Okay, I like that. The sun's positive. It's a positive energy, the sun. So this person is coming in with good intentions that's what i feel they're coming in with good intentions here wow look at that they've got the world card in the upright so it could be here cancer that this person that you're dealing with approaches you because they've got the world in the upright you have the world in the reverse here and what's this other one? Ten of Wands. So it seems like with the World card that this person would like to, I guess, have some closure here. Um, yeah, because the world is wrapping something up, having closure. But I like the world because it's feeling good about it. You know, have, feeling good about maybe facing the situation head on. We've got the Ten of Wands here in their energy. And the Ten of Wands, it, it can be exhausting. It can feel burdensome. But this woman, she's, she's carrying these Ten Wands. So I do feel that coming in from the person that you're dealing with, that there is a level of accountability and responsibility and obligation, and an obligation to come in and, you know, give you some kind of closure. Mm, they, they feel that's the right thing to do. Yeah. All right, let's clarify these cards, shall we, to get uh, some more details around what's happening here with this person. And we've got like fixed energy. So it could be like it, the, you've got the world card in both of your energies, guys. And this is fixed energy. So I do want to say that in this situation, um, I'm going to call you both out and say that you could potentially have both been stubborn in this scenario, okay? All right, so let's clarify the sun card. Why is the sun card here in this person? Look at that page of pentacles, okay? They're feeling positive about approaching you and um, saying sorry making some kind of a formal apology here. Mm. There's a level of, with the Page of Pentacles, there's a level of, I effed up. I can see that, Sun card. I can see that I effed up. I can see that you know, I behaved poorly under the circumstances. Will you accept this pentacle? Will, will you accept 
my apology. Um, I'm just trying to see what else is coming through. You could be dealing with an earth sign here also, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's clarify the world card. Why is the world card here? Yeah, look at that, Ten of Cups in reverse. They don't like this discordant energy between the both of you. They may feel emotionally separated from you. They may feel that, like they don't like that they're emotionally disconnected from you. They don't like it. Okay, the world can speak to a distance between the both of you. Uh, maybe there's, maybe you've both grown apart. I want to say here, maybe you've both grown apart or you want different things. But this person is coming in because they, they, they can't leave this open-ended. All right, let's clarify this Ten of Wands. We've got the Devil in reverse. Major Arcana for Capricorn. You know, I do feel like... I feel like this person has been carrying a burden. Okay, they've been carrying the burden of maybe owing you an apology because they know that it's the right thing to do. They know it's the right thing to do, Cancer. And it has been weighing heavy on them. Not saying sorry, not listening to your point of view. Um, maybe not even sharing their their thoughts and their feelings with you. They uh, like they feel like they owe you that. Uh, they they feel like they owe you that now. Because if they don't owe you an explanation it continues to drag them down and there is a sense of guilt that they're carrying with not explaining themselves and i do feel with the devil here in reverse they want to release that guilt they want to re relieve themselves of this burden that they've been carrying. I hope that makes sense, Cancer. Now, with the Justice card coming out here, I want to say that your patience is paying off. So um, whatever you've been waiting for from this person, uh, it seems like it's, it's coming forward or it is going to come forward. So... Let's see what action this person will take. What action will this person take towards cancer? What action will this person take towards cancer, spirit? What action will this person take towards cancer? Spirit, what action will this person... Yeah, look at that. I love, I love. Look, King of Swords. You had the Queen of Swords here. So there is going to be... A mature responsible conversation taking place we've got the pages swords more swords energy here in in their actions well I wasn't wrong look at that cancer oh my goodness the chariot major arcana for cancer so <laughs> really Okay, so we can see here with the Page of Swords and the Chariot that the action this person is going to take is to reach out. Okay, send you that message. Um, invite you to maybe catch up with them. So you can, you know, talk rationally about 
what's going on here between the both of you, okay? Everyone's situation is going to look different, but I do see a strong conversation taking place. I feel cancer, the action that this person is going to take is to reach out and initiate, initiate contact to like have a conversation. Mm. I do see, I always see in this King of Swords, um, because the King of Swords can appear very detached and distant and cold. But this king, he's sitting, his feet are touching like this pink carpet, if you will. And pink to me represents kindness, compassion. So I feel like you're gonna you're gonna get some kindness and compassion an understanding from this person whereas maybe in the past you didn't but you know with the page of pentacles in their energy we all make mistakes cancer let's be real we're all humans we all make mistakes the page of pentacles in their energy would be this person admitting that they effed up that they made a mistake but they do want to improve they do want to get better or they do want to show up better so th they're admitting here they're admitting that they effed up now around the king of swords is some butterflies see around the crown of the king of swords is butterflies so i do feel like this person has undergone uh, some kind of transformation or change maybe they've changed their thinking maybe they've changed their perspective maybe previously they were ruled by their ego or they allowed their ego to lead because the devil is here but it is in the reverse now which tells me here that they're releasing those um, chains that had them you know bound to their shadowy energy which would be you know the ego Mm. All right, so let's grab some last parting messages, Cancer. I feel like that's all I really want to... I don't feel like I need to dive deeper into the action. Let's just grab a last parting message for our Cancerians. Let's have a look here, Cancer. Oh my goodness, look. Hold your vision fixed moon there you go <laughs> a lot of fixed energy coming into this reading hold your vision means that for those of you who have been patiently waiting for this person to take accountability and responsibility okay um don't give up okay if you have been patient it's saying here to not give up hold your vision Yes, because what you are waiting for here with the justice card seems like it's going to unfold, manifest. What else am I getting from that card? Hold your vision. Yeah, I just feel like that fixed moon energy is saying don't give up cancer. Um but also don't 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 um, stop your life either at the same time it's like you, you can still continue to live your life you don't have to put your life on hold uh, whilst you wait for this person to come forward and take accountability you know hold the vision there don't give up but still continue to live your life so there's your reading, Cancer. Let me know in the comment section below how it best resonated for you. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, take care. Bye guys.